everyone. It's Christine Stitch All The Things. Welcome to my channel today. Uh, if you're new, thank you so much for stopping by, checking out my videos. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back and spending a little time with me today. Today is Monday, February 22nd, and uh, I did get some things done over the weekend. First off, old business from last week. I was very excited to show you my finish of In Lieu of Flowers and one eagle eye viewer noticed that I actually had forgotten to put these two top petals on. I get so hyper focused on finishing things that I I forget to go back and see did I miss anything and I did. I missed stitching these two because um, when I got back started on this, I had to rip out these two orange pieces here was a lot lighter of an orange and it just, everything just blended in together. So I ripped those out and restitched them and then didn't finish. I just went down from there. I, I stitched the greenery and then just stitched the rest and just completely missed that I didn't finish the top there. So now these two flowers match. Also, I, I never even noticed this. I don't really spend a lot of time looking at the cover photo, uh, but on the cover photo, there's a tendril of greenery that comes off the side of his face. It's not on the chart, so I didn't add it. So if you notice that, it's not something I forgot to stitch on. It just wasn't charted, and so I didn't stitch it. And I uh, looked at the chart co cover photo for a while and decided, no, nah, it's not something I wanted to add. Uh, so I, I didn't put it on there. So now he is officially done. That's so funny. I, I really do. I missed something else recently. Um, oh, the last line on the coffee cup of at 7 a.m. somewhere. I get so excited. Like I'm, I'm finished. I'm almost done and I just hurry up and then I don't look and make sure I got everything. Um, I also finished on Saturday. I stitched on this. I, I was supposed to stitch on it Sunday, but I was so close to a finish that I, I got the rest of my block done. So I uh, got all of the decorative stitching done on this one. And um, yeah, it's good to go. This block is done. Good to go. Where's it going to go? Um, it's just finished. And just the back of my work, just so you can see that I actually got a lot of stitching done but love this love how it turned out so pretty uh, there's on the pattern there's a set of three buttons vintage buttons you just pull from your button jar that you add on here i'm not going to be adding those on until after i'm done with the quilting i learned that lesson last time so um yeah not going to be doing that this time <laughs> not going to add on those kind of buttons till the end uh stitching the pattern I'm going to be, the work in progress, the whip I'm going to be working on is the uh, Pride Anchor from Barefoot Needle Art. Uh, I have, when I, when I stopped stitching on this last time, I stopped to just like two lines under where the heart is. Uh, I had stitched two yellow lines and then stop. So this was my progress on Sunday. I sat down to start stitching on Sunday, probably around one o'clock. Um, and that's, I, I brought the anchor down and then I started over here. So I've got a bit to do on this point there, <laughs> trying to put them both up and holding everything backwards. There we go. Uh, so yeah. I just, I just got to right here to the break in the anchor line there on the hook. So I will be working on that tonight. I wanted to, uh, because the pattern is divided in half, like I've got half the, of this page here and then, you know, the, the other hook of the anchor is on the second page. So I'm going to be focusing on getting this side of the anchor done. So I worked up to the point and then I'm going to work my way back. And so, yeah, that's it. That's it for my stitching. I didn't get any mail in over the weekend. Um, and yeah, nothing, nothing else to share on that. So I'll be working on that stitching tonight. And then later in the week, I'll be sewing on my quiet play quilt block for 2021, uh, the February block. So I'll have some sewing progress to show later in the week. All right. I'll check in with you tomorrow and we'll see how far I get 
uh, stitched on the anchor tonight. See you then. Hello everyone, today is Thursday, February 25th. I have the boys with me. I know some of you like to see the boys every week, Donna, Painter especially. Um, they are a little um, manic today because we had some winds come in last night. Overnight, 30 mile an hour winds up to 50 mile an hour gusts. And Cooper was spaztastic all night long. Now we get winds often. This is nothing new. We often get very windy days, very gusty days, 30 mile winds up to 50 mile an hour gusts. This is a thing that happens here. But for some reason last night, he was just extra triggered. And so all night long, he was panting. He was uh, like, he kept us awake all night. Went to bed around midnight, could not even start to doze off until about three, because he'd start barking. Um, just the, uh, we have this um, system, air system in the house, uh, EVAP cooler system, as well as regular HVAC. Um, and the EVAC system, there's flaps in there. And so when the winds get going, they just like the flaps open and close often. and it's not an uncommon sound, but last night Cooper did not like it. So he was at the edge of the bed, like barking all night, pretty well thinking. I think he thought someone was in the house, like we'd go check it out. And no, dog was just unhappy. So anyway, um, it took actually this morning, I ended up giving him some CBD oil to calm him down. Uh, my dogs don't really that's it that stuff doesn't face them very much but it got cooper out of his manic just running around the house like a crazy dog face and right now i'm bribing them with cookies to um sit in my lap anyway that's just the dogs they'll be fine cooper does this he's that's just his personality one of the things he does is sometimes when he gets um when something just really affects him it just affects him and uh, last night's wind for some reason really got to him okay so stitching this week i this week i just got off kilter on monday and it just kind of followed me all week uh it took me like a really long time to get bags done this week and so i just did not have any time to share things so Oh, I made a huge amount of progress. This is the pattern I'm working on. Oops, sorry, Coops. The pride anchor. Last time you saw, I think I had uh, come down here and then started a little line across and some of this anchor or hook. So I finished the hook part and back to this halfway point, actually no, over to this edge of this this darker or this bluey purple shade i forget what number that is um on monday night uh and a little bit of this purple and then i finished this purple i'll get up close i finished this color and this color on tuesday night today's thursday yeah so last night I started on this over here just I forgot to take pictures I thought if I can't record I should take pictures every day and show you the pictures and I just got so busy I forgot so this is where I am I have two stitching nights left I'm I'm hopeful barring anything happening me just deciding not to stitch I should have a finish this week uh, I'd like to get the hook done um, and then tonight this part of the hook and then just have maybe a little bit left to do there uh, on Friday night. So that would be great. As far as mail coming in, um, sorry for the noise. I'm trying to do everything one handed. I got my primitive quilts and projects magazine in. There wasn't really anything that caught my eye in this month's issue. I'll show you the table of contents page. I do like this uh, a lot. I'm not sure that it's focusing. Sometimes it focuses well and sometimes not so much. There we go. Just in case you're wondering what kind of projects are in here. This does not show all of the projects. 
um, in the magazine. I don't think they have another page of, of summary projects, but I didn't really see much that I liked. I did see one of the readers, um, Deb Eggers, it looks like, uh, said she just finished this quilt, Acorn Manor, and she loves how it turns out. Uh, she didn't, she, I think that's her name, and this is her quilt pattern. Um, and I love this. I love it. If this is a pattern, I want to do it. Just as a stitcher, this really appeals to me. Um, and if this is just her pattern, uh, she did a fantastic job. See if I can get that to focus. And, and then, of course, I wouldn't do that because that's hers. Um, but yeah, I love that. I love this. This Out of everything in here, Deb Eggers quilt is the one thing that I went, oh, I'd love to make that. Uh, so I'm actually going to Google that and see if there's an actual pattern for it or if that's something that she just came up with. Cooper, it's okay. If you hear him, he's back in panty mode. Uh, as far as sewing, today's Thursday. It's almost 3 o'clock. Um, Thursdays tend to be like my catch-up days. Um, so I didn't get to sewing on my Quiet Play 2021 block as intended. Uh, I'll get to it after this video. But if you remember last month, the January, this is the quilt pattern, but I am doing like the inverse of this. The, the rainbow colors are all the same, but the black on here, I'm using white fabric for, and then the white background, I'm using a black speckly background for. And so this is last month's block that I did. And um, so this month, the block we're working on is this one right here. I forget what she calls it. It's got a stained glass look to it. Um, that's not focusing either. It's me. I'm, I'm just struggling. I'm, my hands are shaking. Everything's shaky. Worried about my dog. He's fine. I'm just, you know, focused on him. But anyway, so I'm going to start this. I'm going to get all of my... This is foundation paper piecing. So I'm going to get all of my pattern pieces printed and cut out. Uh, Candy, I know I said I would do a video on this block, uh, but I, I think I'm gonna skip it this month just cause I'm not really feeling it, uh, the recording it. <laughs> just, I'd like to get the block done, um, but maybe next month. Hopefully my rainbow block, I've, I've done a foundation paper piece video of the 2020 Quiet Play pattern of the full rainbow block. So if you're curious about how I do foundation paper piecing, that video is out there. I'll link it in the description box. Um, but Candy had asked me to do a video of this month's block for foundation paper piecing. And I just, with the way this week has gone, I, I, I won't get that block finished this week. And I'd really like to kind of stay on track. So maybe next month I will do the March block instead. But that's my plan sewing for this week. So hopefully I'll have a little bit of progress to show you. And then by Saturday, fingers crossed, the block will be finished. Okay, so that's all I have to share today. I'm going to go, um, I don't know, calm my dog down. Poor Coopers. Poor Coopers. And um, I give him a little extra love before I do any sewing. Uh, so thank you for joining me today. And I'll check in with you tomorrow. And we'll see how far I get on that anchor piece. Um, talk to you then. Bye. Hello everyone. Today is Saturday, February 27th. Sorry I didn't record today. Um, and I noticed when I did the video editing and when I went to take my computer out of the room that although I had set the microphone up where it was supposed to be, I didn't plug it in. So the audio sounds different probably to you in the last segment. Oops. Um, that's just the kind of week it's been. I didn't have time to record yesterday because I just sat down and got some sewing done. Uh, I was actually worried I wasn't going to get my sewing finished this week, but I ended up getting it finished and then had time to work on a different project. Uh, so let me, let me go in order of my pile here. First of all, this magazine I mentioned yesterday and the pattern I really loved in the back, Acorn Manor, um, this is a pattern by Deb Eggers. Uh, I put the the pattern link in the box below. I just, I so love it. However, she has it for sale right now as a quilt along. And it's, you, you have to put 
I think it started back in October or November and uh, you have to pay for the whole thing at once and it's like $225 and I just don't want to put that down right now that's kind of a big hit to my pocketbook um, so I'm, I'm gonna pass on this I was looking to see if I could just buy the pattern and then just use fabrics from my stash or buy my own fabrics and I cannot see anywhere on the website where you can just buy the pattern um, I can only find it available as the quilt along where you have to purchase all the fabrics if anybody ends up finding a link to just buying the pattern would you please send me the link because I would do that and then just get fabrics over time or whatever I needed and do it that way but I've got so many things going on right now I just didn't want to throw down like that much money for something I wasn't gonna do right away you know what I mean um, so I just wanted to address that love it I'm gonna keep checking the website and see if she ever gets to the point of just selling the pattern and not doing it as a quilt along and if that day comes I'll be ordering that pattern all right so I ended up finishing the pride anchor normally I give patterns away when I'm done stitching them but I'm not going to do that uh, this time uh, this pattern is very special to me um, Amy and memory decided to dedicate this pattern to me in response to my response to my son um, coming out to me earlier no, earlier this year uh, last January and uh, so anyway this pattern actually I'm I'm gonna be writing my own little I'm gonna be gifting this to my son so this is the finish the anchor finish um, and and so when I get this all framed up and everything like that I'll be writing the story with with how this came about everything and and you know my own little thing to my son and um, and but keeping the pattern for myself so yeah super happy with how this turned out on Friday I got the entire anchor part done except for that little smidge of purple down there uh, at the very very bottom so last night I finished the purple and uh, then when that was done and I was super happy oh and I did get my initials in there uh, I did my initials in just the year this time uh, in the little well area of the anchor the hooks and then after that was done I pulled out oh, I thought I had the pattern but I had the wrong pattern sorry I was prepared but not as prepared I, I just said the wrong one uh, my thimble blossoms I, I had two blocks ready fused down and ready to stitch down uh, this was the second block the little sewing machine block two from the thimble blossoms summer block of the week I believe from 2019 uh, and so I started working on that so all the stitching that I got done on this one was just around the edge of the sewing machine um, and then these here and this one and then the spool but I didn't I didn't do the the hand wheel yet the cranking wheel I'll do that today this is according to the picture this is done in all black and not this accented stitching so I started on this and I'll be working on this on Sunday during the day um, on Sundays in the daytime when it's just the mister and I and we're having a chill day I'll be working on that and last night since I started this I decided to go ahead and order block three so that should be on its way sometime in the next week or so so that's the stitching I got done this week another finish y'all I'm so excited I'm so happy that I decided this year was just gonna be a year of trying to work towards finishes or just working on my whips and that I put the the whips that would be done the soonest at the front of the line because now that's what I think four or five this year that I've already finished let's see uh, prickly but cute positivity rules it's 7 a.m. somewhere um in lieu of flowers and then my pride anchor that's five um so i think that's the end of my smaller finishes i may have one more my stitch craft by stitchy fish designs uh she'll be coming out i think next week um that's one of my smaller pieces that could be done with a week of stitching i think so i may have one more stitch finish 
in the near future and then after that it's just my big pieces I'm just gonna be working on those bigger pieces but yeah that that just feels really great as far as stitching goes for next week um, these past two weeks I've worked on my other stitching in lieu of flowers the pride anchor um, and positivity rules that's what I did last week positivity rules and the and the in lieu of flowers and okay yeah so that means this week I've had two weeks of stitching on my whips and now this week my focus piece coming up and so tonight I'll be working on the burlesque zombie portrait I'll be bringing her out again so yeah I'm excited to get back to her and get a little bit more stitching done on her as far as sewing goes um, I worked on this block. It's, I think it's called the diamond lattice block and I got that finished yesterday. Oh, I did talk about that the other day. I couldn't remember. And I think so. Cause I apologize to Candy for not planning on doing the, um, a video of it. And I posted a picture on Instagram and she's like, please, please tell me there was a video. And I was like, Oh no, I didn't. Um, but this is how the block turned out. I love this block. I, I'm super, I said, that, I say it every time, but I'm super glad I went with the dark background and decided to do white as the accent. It just pops. Um, so I'm going to be real curious how this quilt ends up looking when it's done. I've never done a uh, dark background quilt before. This is my first time. And then I finished that about an hour before I was supposed to be done for the day. I was shocked. So I don't know if you remember, those of you, some of you may remember, I had done a re review of this foundation paper, piecing paper from the Fat Quarter Shop. Uh, it's Soema. They had sent this to me in just one of their, um, like, here's, here's some new products. And I was excited to try this. So I did a review of the paper, loved it, and then decided I was going to actually use all the papers and make a big quilt with it. So um, I had done, this is the block I did. For the review of the paper and so yesterday I made the other block that's gonna go right next to it it's kind of hard to hold these up Let's see if I can do it like this so when the rows are sewn together <laughs> it's too hard it's too hard um, they'll end up looking like that little shapes like that yeah that's just way too hard I should have pinned it I should have pinned it but anyway so um, I got one block done and then there we go and then the next block I add on will be over here and yeah so just spent a little time yesterday afternoon organizing the fabrics putting them in order so I know you know the I don't put like colors on the same thing and all that stuff and had fun playing around with that so as time goes on I just have a little extra time sewing I think I'm just gonna make one or two of those blocks that block came together in like oh I want to say maybe 30 minutes um, that includes all no that doesn't include all my preparation time but yeah that was a fun block to get done so I got one more of those done if I want to get that quilt done this year though I have to really step up my game and get like five blocks done a month uh, so yeah uh, let's see that brings us to giveaways um, I don't know what I'm going to be working on sewing wise next week I haven't really thought about it yet I haven't planned my March um, sewing so I don't know yet um, let's let's do giveaways that's where I was going giveaways all right so last week's giveaway uh, was for this great pattern the love and carrots pattern from the Cricut collection there's the carrot there's the love this is such a cute pattern all right so I've got it all queued up I pasted the link in my phone in the random comment picker put in the the word love 33 comments and let's see who the winner is Ashley Wood congratulations Ashley um, just send me an email with your address, christine.stitchallthethings at gmail.com, and um, I will get pop this in the mail to you this week. I dove back into the Lori B box, and I realized I had already sorted all of the patterns for March and April out, and there's some great, like, March springy patterns, some Easter patterns. I'm excited to get to them. So the first one that I'm going to start with is this March Blows pattern 
from Bank Creek. This is a Snappers, um, and it includes the snaps to make the pattern with. So, um, the keyword is just going to be March. So, uh, if you will just write a comment with the word March in it. Are you happy March is here? Are you waiting for March to be over? Is your birthday in March? Is your anniversary in March? Like, or I just want to stitch the March chart. Any of those things works. Um, I'm looking around. I think that's it. I, yes. Okay. So uh, thank you so much for joining me. I'm a little scattered. I have a lot on my mind to get done today. And so I, and I didn't write it down. I didn't write down, take notes. I just kind of like piled everything in order. And so anyway, thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Stitch all the things and I will check in with you next time. Bye.